Whatever's in there, it's been safely hidden for 2,000 years. So my question for you, Sophia, is what was your hardest day on set and what was your most rewarding day on set? It was when I'm being mummified. That scene where I'm being mummified and I'm being, from the alt being brought from the altar to uh, the sarcophagus is, uh, was something that, um, that, uh, that really terrified me because I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't use my arms, I couldn't talk. And I had to be brought from places to places. And at the end of this, the, the, the take, I had to be put in this coffin and then had the lid put on top. And Alex wanted to do a top shot, which took a while because after they've put the lid, the camera had to go up. And I was like, call cut, call cut, call cut. And he wouldn't. <laughs> and it would take so long. And even after he called cut, I couldn't do anything. I had to wait for people to come, move the lid, bring me, lift me, bring me to the altar. Courtney, what was the hardest scene you shot, either you know just doing it or as an actor, and what was the easiest, most fun one you shot? The hardest scene I think was uh, being uh, doing doing that walk and talk for thirty seven times. Thirty seven right? takes. There's a scene in the movie where we come off a helicopter and we walk into this big scene, and last minute the director realized he wanted it as a wonder. But there was so much going on that everything had to be choreographed. And we Absolutely. were walking in sand. In, in sand. People were, there was like fire behind us, a helicopter landing, and Tom has like a real helicopter. I think the hardest scene to shoot just physically was the scene, the plane crash sequence, because we did it on a real plane in zero gravity. And, um, you know, it's incredibly hard on the body because, you know, yes, you go weightless, but then when gravity returns, it returns it twice its weight and it just crushes you to the floor. So think about doing that 64 times, you know, going into actual plummeting free fall, you know, as you're hurtling toward the toward earth, you know, it's it's an amazing thing to see. And it, again, it's about being able to do a shot where there's no cuts, where you're seeing Tom and Annabelle spinning through the space and you're going, wow, that is definitely them for real. Um, but, uh, you know, it was physically demanding for sure. Sophia, here's the question I have for you. Who in your life, what an amazing new friend actor inspired the amazing parts of the mummy, like her strength, her intelligence. Hint. <laughs> <laughs> she is so sweet. Uh, uh, who was uh, of the cast? Yeah. Or, okay. Honestly, I mean, I'm, I don't want to sound like, um, like obvious or anything like that, but it, uh, genuinely everybody inspired me. You know, everybody brought some sort of quality that I that I look up to. I, I'm still fiercely new to this craft, and I'm learning uh, every single time that I'm on set with people. Of course, Tom um, Tom is inspiring because of where he comes from, and because of everything he's achieved, and because he is hilarious and funny and sweet. Annabelle is such a bubbly, lovely, you know, woman. She's strong and she's 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 very caring. And we had such a, a lovely dynamic on set and an outside set. And Jake is hilarious. Jake is so funny and sweet and fun. And and um, yeah, I, I couldn't pick. Like I, I really had such a great time with all of them. What was it like to actually um, um, do dive off those buildings that were moving? Uh, it was that house that they made. They built a three-story building that we that was built to crumble, and we fall from. When the did top you of find it. out that you had to do that? They had told me earlier, but they had told me and said there's a chance it'll be too dangerous. So they said we might do it with the stunt guys if Tom will allow us to do it with the stunt guys because it's really hard to test, test it, it because it takes so long to build it back up, right. and it's hard to figure out the speed. So they said there's a real chance that you're not going to do this. The day before they said. We tested it yesterday, and my son Kai goes, it went way too fast. He's like, I'm you're not, I'm not having it. you doing it. Not, so who I, said that? Um, my stunt guy. Stunt guy. And he uh, said, you're not doing he it. Said, no. He goes, you guys no aren't way. doing it. No and way. Then, no way. And no way. So I released all the stress. <laughs> I was all. <laughs> then when did you find out? Morning of. Morning of. We get there, and they were suiting me up, and I said. Uh, I'm not doing it, well, right? I, I think you, you were going to do it, right? And they said. No, no, we tested this morning. We have it under control. I go, how many times you tested? He was like, just once or twice, but it's good. And then they, he said, Tom's insisting on doing it. He's very excited. <laughs> Did you end up with any broken bones or bruises? No, but or? I, you know, you slam against the ground wow. because it's, you know, you're on a roof that's crumbling and then it stops and you keep going. So every time it would hurt. Uh, but it was also one of those experiences that doing it with Tom and seeing the excitement in his eyes before 
And you feel like, well, this is why I, I wanted to be here. I don't want to do this, but this is why I wanted to be here. You can't run. You can't escape. She's got plans for you. 